And welcome back, this is Baldur Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is my Mamo. That is how I'm gonna go for it, unless it's my Mimo. Whatever. That player is ranked number two in his platinum division, I'm gonna say his, with 2,780 points, 224 wins, and 212. What? Huh? 224 wins, 201 losses. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Red Terran. I'm finally red in the northeast up against my Mamo. I say it like it's my mom. Oh. The blue Protoss player in the northwest. The map is Delta Quadrant, which I think I have told you guys is my worst map according to, I believe it was like sc2ranks.com. Like I have like a horrible record there. It was crazy. And once again, we have a 160 APM player. Let's look at what that what that entails. Hmm? Number went way down, as you can see, once they stopped doing the little spam there. But yeah, once again, this, and then this, then this, and then this. W what does this do for you, except for increase your APM? Because, I mean, it's already back up. 200. Wh what are you doing? What are, let me see your camera. What are you doing? So, whoa, just spamming, but nothing seems to be getting done. Okay, whatever. Enough talk of spamming again. So I checked the Zalnaga Tower. Nothing there. And I am going for the bottom right expansion here because I'm I never know where to go. It seems to be completely random on this map. I rarely get one on the other complete opposite side of the map though, but with that said, um, it has happened and I'm sure it will happen again. There seems to be no rhyme or reason to where people spawn on this map. My barracks is almost done, as is my refinery. It looks like my refinery is a little bit late there because it looks like it will finish at roughly the same time as my first barracks so that is a little bit late. Probe inside my base! Get him! Get him! There goes the SCV. Gonna chase the probe down. First Marine is on the way. Looks like I am gonna be getting that first supply depot out front. Keeping an eye for blink stalkers pretty much is a positioning thought process there. Meanwhile, the Protoss player is going for... One gate cybernetics core, two pylons, standard, standard, standard. First gas is up and running. First zealot is coming out. Where did my probe go? Did, did I get any scouting done? Looks like I got scouting done and then left, just realizing that he wasn't going for cheese and that was good enough for me. Second gateway is on the way. Probe is going to be... Where are you going? No, my, my SUV actually hasn't gone inside his base yet. So there we go. I went here. Didn't work. Went here. Didn't work. So now I am finally going inside where his base actually is. Three racks is on the way for me. So once again, three racks on this map because I really don't know what else to do. I don't want any kind of fast expansion build because the expansion will be incredibly hard to hold and I am not very good with bunker play right now it looks like my SCV does not stand a chance there so but it will be able to spot two gateways three gateways and a cybernetics core so definitely not going to be seeing any kind of quick air I shouldn't think what are you doing okay he's going to be building a pylon at the bottom there looks like that's going to be to prevent medevac drops once again, I'm not too um, too familiar with any sort of detailed strategy coming from other races. That is one of my main fall, um, my main weak points right now is that I don't understand the tech tree in other races as much as I do the Terran players. Don't understand all the tactics like this pylon deck here. I assume it's for uh, keeping an eye on 
none of that drops or any kind of cheese that might happen over here but then again I could always drop something over here so it's not perfect but th that's my thought as to what that is for gateway and a robotics facility so we are going to be seeing four gate robo that is not something that I say every day Meanwhile, I'm just continually producing the Marines and Marauders. I do have concussive shells and stim pack on the way. That is what I like to get, especially against a Protoss player. The, uh, the concussive shells is very important when dealing with a massive ball of zealots, but it doesn't look like he has zealots. Instead, he has the stalkers. I did drop a scan in his base. I don't know if he caught that. But I did, and I was able to see the three gate, and I believe I knew about this fourth one down here. Did I? I did, so I did know about four gates. I did not know about the robotics facility that was hidden over here in the corner, but I did not know about this proxy pylon outside my base, so when I go for an expansion, I will have to deal with that. And another proxy pylon going down here. Uh, some players go a little bit heavy with the proxy pylons, I'll be honest. See, look, he instantly has to cancel that. He should have waited to see what kind of uh, battle he was up against when before building that pylon. Of course, this one will still stand, so if he wanted to go for something sneaky, this would be the perfect time to do it now that my Marines and MRRs are outside my base. Uh, but I, that is why I keep reinforcements inside. Looks like I took out a pro. Not stimming up, as never, never stim up when you're going up against a Protoss player before you go up the ramp you will waste that stim every time and they will laugh at you Immortal is coming out now so no observer it doesn't look like no 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 observer pylon still just chilling out spinning not doing much of anything meanwhile I am finally getting my expansion here and I'm moving my army out and I'm like oh wait proxy pylon so I'm taking that out, and while I'm taking that out, I think he's going to be distracted. So I stim, and that, I told you that was stupid, and here's why. Because everything gets taken out, and I'm forced to run away, and look how much time was left on that stim. I'm going to sit, yeah, look at that. All these guys got 10 HP knocked off of them, because I mistakenly went for a stim there. And he's going to move down. I don't have enough to counter this right now, but I do have reinforcements on the way and those reinforcements should be enough to finish the job it looks pretty even here am i going to focus down this immortal yes but it looks like the damage has been done thanks to that guardian shield uh almost none of these guys had any damage done to them there so i did not win it once again if you had the armies lumped together it probably would have been a different story i definitely would have had um a, either a lot more kills or a lot more damage done. I am falling behind in the unit's loss count, but I am going for the expansion. And I definitely have more minerals, and I'm going to produce a bigger army than his. But not right now, because his is, well, his survived, and I have to rebuild. And it takes time to recruit people, you know? You're like, hey, uh, I know that everybody that you uh, knew in the army is already dead, but don't you want to join the army? Come on, guys. I won't send you to your doom. Just you. Just you. I don't have an engineering bay up. That is why this is not being morphed into anything. But I, that's still no excuse for me not to be producing anything. I could have gotten at least one SCV. Uh, but now, here we go. Planetary Fortress is on the way. He does see that I have an expansion. He does not have his on the way. Doesn't look like he's even sending anybody out to... To, to try to secure it. There is no probe out here. If that would be a zealot. Oh, and he's gonna move in. He definitely still has the larger army here. And he's force fielding my army in. I did not plan to run that way anyways. What I do plan to do is run back to my planetary fortress. It is gonna finish right now, and now his force fields are actually preventing him from doing anything. Uh, Planet Fury Fortress already getting some kills in. And he runs off. Does not feel like he has enough to take on the Planetary Fortress or whatever might be in my base. He does not realize that it, 
or at least I don't think he realizes that that force field that he placed was not a full block off and I simply did not have any army inside my base if he had pushed there it would have been a completely different game if he had just walked up inside my base started doing damage here it would be well it might be over let's be honest but he did not do that that is what we call bad micro and I should know I'm the captain of bad micro looking at the APM that is what I meant to hit uh, he is absolutely crushing me in terms of APM as you might expect but look at that he's got he's got almost no probes here what is with Protoss players and not getting enough probes I mm, probes should be the easiest thing to come by because as soon as you build you can send them back to the line why don't why don't you have enough there so I scan here and I I like the placement of the scan until I realized what was going on see the scan here it was designed to see if he had an expansion plus to see his army but he did not have his army here he had it out front so I'm moving in because I see that he's building the expansion and that is the perfect time to try to move in when, you're, when your opponent thinks it's safe to macro up. All these force fields are getting a little bit of work done. These guys cannot attack right now, but I still have the larger army. So I'm able to force the cancellation on that expansion. He never bothered getting this one back here, so he just never got the second expansion. Meanwhile, mine is up Planetary Fortress and has killed. My expansion has kills. Where's your expansion? Uh, he is going to be able to hold me back once again with the one force field. I don't have enough to get past that. I don't have any sort of medevacs to move in. I am starting to get the starboard here. Um, he And it gives him time. You know, just a, a little bit of a century micro is enough to get him a decent sized army here. It is not going to be enough to counter this. Even though they are pretty weak, these guys can stim and get a lot of damage done. I am working on the debris in the back. He sent one zealot to do the job. That's going to take forever. How much are he doing? Well, I guess he's doing five per hit. And, but instead of eight. But still, it'll take him a while. Am I going to stim up? Here I go. And I'm taking out the moral first. I should be taking out this uh, sentry here because he is in charge of that guardian shield. But it looks like as long as I focus the morals and the sentries overall, I will be able to get at least a large chunk of that army down. Now moving in once again with what I had left in my base once again, scared of the proxy pylons even though I should have known by now that there was not one up anymore because I took like two of them out. Well I forced a cancellation on one, took another one out. And I'm moving up here making sure to get inside the ramp before I stem up. And then I stem up and then I'm taking out the, the pylons and he GG's right on out of there. He simply does not have the income to come back from this. Uh, meanwhile, I am going for my third expansion or third base here. Falling a little bit behind on the macro here. I need a... Well, I need to start producing stuff out of there. I need to lower that supply depot. Good lord, look at that. The seed kink's up, up here, and it came from here. Just lower that. Uh, there's no reason to keep the, the, the supply depots up except for me forgetting to, to, to lower them, to be honest. Um, still have, you know, not producing as much as I should. Um, getting that expansion once again too late. 17 minute mark, that's too late. You need to start thinking about it about 13. Um, but pretty much what won me this game was me constantly harassing this expansion here. Uh, that is that is the quintessential point of this map is this expansion here that is very hard to defend and you want to expose that from your opponent you want to make that expansion very tough to hold and try to make him um, mined out of his main but he never got enough probes to be mined out of his main so yeah I mean look at that 270, 185, 190, 365, 150 I'm going to say it's about 1,500, as opposed to him, 480, 405, 210, 3. That, that's probably about 2,500 right there, including that one that's 590. Yeah, 2,500, so I, you know, I have 1,000 more minerals than you do overall. That is unacceptable. 
And then on top of that, I have this, uh, you know, I have this expansion. I'm going for this one here. These guys don't even need to go inside your base. That is how much I won. Now oh, that's just me gloating. I'm just kidding. So I hope you guys enjoyed this game. That constant pressure is what won it for me. I hope you guys learned that this game. I also hope you laughed. I don't know if I cracked very many jokes in this game, but I hope you laughed anyways. And I hope you learned. I already said that. And I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.